Okay, hopping on this trend. Hello everyone, welcome back to Story Studios and we have a leaked picture of the LEGO Star Wars UCS Razor Crest in this video. Should be a short video, I'm just gonna be talking about my thoughts on the set and the pictures, so let's get into the video. Just some Lego sets ideas, some lights and a camera. But then it came to mind, what touch you just got it got what My imagination ran, and I never stopped, even though that it felt like bricks on bricks were weighing me down. But I knew if I kept working, we'd survive and we won't drown. Where pieces become whole and dreams come true. This is the place where you should be. So come with me to a place out of this world. Oh, come back to soar your studio. First off, this uh, the, uh, this the set looks great. Um, literally everything looks great. It looks like we have some VIP early access, the third to the seventh of October, which is to be expected. Uh, I do know for as far as minifigs go, we can see like Quirrell with that thing that he's on, uh, which actually looks really good brick built. I know it's a fuzzier picture. Uh, but it looks like there's either printed or sticker pieces in the front of that creature, and so that's going to be good. We have the blue guy with looks like Lego handcuffs. If that looks like that's all that is for that figure. We have a classic plaque, as per usual. We have Baby Yoda, and finally a white crib uh, that finally comes in a set, not an advent calendar, but a set. So that's really nice for Grogu. And then the Mandalorian himself looks a lot similar to the Mandalorians in the past, but apparently we do have some new printings, uh, and part of the new printing is that he does have like a stripe on his helmet or something like that. Like it technically is a different Mandalorian, it just, to be honest, it doesn't look that different from here. But as far as the actual set goes, it looks amazing. I mean, this is the Play one, which the Play one is amazing by itself. Like honestly, the the this Millennium Falcon, uh, well, not Millennium Falcon. This Razor Crest is like such a good one. This is one of like the best sets, in my opinion, that have come out in like the past couple years. I, I really do think so, just because it has so many features. Uh, it's a great play. It was only what a hundred, maybe ten dollars or something like that. Like it was just good. This is going to be a six hundred dollar set, but should have like it, it has more than six thousand pieces to it. Um, on top of this, just some things to note, it looks like, it looks flipping huge, especially compared to the minifigures, which I'm assuming, I, I'm, I'm gonna assume that they're like up to scale. Actually, it looks a little bit zoomed in. I'm looking at the cockpit now area, and I think the Mandalorian is in the cockpit in this picture. Not sure, but he definitely looks bigger than the Mandalorian next to that plaque. Um, you can sort of see, like, the front, you have those 1x8 gray plates. Uh, and that, the front is definitely four studs flat across, plus at least two studs on each side, so at least eight studs across, which... Uh... Okay, yeah, interesting. So the front of this, of this uh, Razor Crest is the same length as this Razor Crest front, because this also has two 1x8 plates with two uh, studs width here, and then some curves. And it looks like it's literally the same thing. So uh, 
the, at least we know the front is the same, but when it comes to going back, it looks like it's going to be different. Um, that almost looks like the same cockpit piece, but it's not. And actually, the cockpit looks brick built itself. Uh, we keep going back. It definitely goes wider. Like, although this might be the same size, it definitely widens out a ton, especially these engines, which are massive. And these, um, oh my goodness, like the, the, the engines look amazing. It, they just look absolutely beautiful. And the way that they're going to attach that is beyond me. I can see like they're using the sort of like the tracks as sort of detailing to go around those engine pieces, which look phenomenal. It looks like we have some interesting angles, actually. And this sort of reminds me of like the UCS gunship on how there's a lot of interesting angles in that set too, that Lego made it work. So uh, it, it does look like there are even more angles here, like at weird 45 degree angles and et cetera, et cetera. Like um, maybe even at only like 25 degree angles and stuff like that. Uh, the yellow, the yellow stripes definitely, I believe, are stickers because we got the sticker sheet. We kind of know that. Uh, looks like we also have an escape pod up top, just like the play set. I wonder if, I, I hope that's going to be able to come off, like the one with the play set. Uh, the back is just massive, absolutely massive. And then I'm sure all the panels come out. Uh, the landing gear looks phenomenal, like the side landing gear. That looks amazing. I don't know if the landing gear is retractable. I'm, I'm, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt in this set, although it looks like it could be set at an angle. Maybe not retractable, but movable, uh, potentially. Um, I can ima already imagine all these side panels going away and seeing the interior. Like, this is going to be a massive interior, everyone, as far as I'm concerned, with this UCS Razor Crest. So, th I mean, this, this picture speaks for it all obviously we won't know more until we get some more pictures of the interior that will be really awesome to see um i'll be making a video on that when that comes out so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that those are my thoughts i mean i i'm not gonna get it still i mean 600 dollars. i don't have 600 dollars um at the razor crest isn't my favorite chip but however this is this is a beautiful set and i know this is gonna make a lot of people happy um, I specifically love in this set that there's not a lot of studs showing, like there are enough studs showing to show that it's Lego, but I like that there's enough plating happening. Um, I, I especially love the guns up front, like that's amazing, uh, especially like the, the armor on the outset of the gun, which it looks like, you know, it, it popped out. I doubt they'll be attractable, or retractable, but it looks cool to show that it's as if they are, like it's just so, there's all these minute detailings. I think are just very well done by Lego, like everything on this set, like it's, it looks so nice. It also looks really heavy. Um, so as far as the, we know like the front here is the same as the toy one. As far as the length goes, my goodness, it looks almost twice the size as this. Um, if I had to guess, I'd guess probably around the same size as the UCS gunship. Uh, it's just this is going to be a thicker boy and there's going to be obviously more of an interior than the gunship uh, had to it. So there's also that to take into consideration. And there's, I mean, obviously there's a lot more pieces to this set. Um, I mean, the gunship, there's a lot of hollowness to it. So there's not surprised that the gunship was 350 and this is going to be 600, or originally 530 and then after inflation 600. So we're not sure, but there we are. And that's the use of that, that, uh, those are my thoughts. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you all in the next video. Peace out.